Okay, this problem is taken from a Chinese mathematics textbook called The Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art, which was written about 250 BCE, before the Common Era, or possibly before. It says, a 10-foot-long stem of bamboo is broken in such a way that its tip touches the ground three feet from the base of the stem, as shown in the figure. And this is a picture of uh, the page where this, this problem is written, and you can see the bamboo here um, and the break up there. And so the, they're referring to three feet down here um, from the base of the stem to where the tip is lying. Um, and the question is, what is the height of the break? Okay, to answer this, let me draw another picture. So I'm going to redraw that bamboo. And it says the length, the total length is 10 feet. And that's a key idea here, 10 feet. And this distance here at the base, this is 3 feet. And the question is, what's the, what's the height of the break? Okay, and there's the break. Right there. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll say, well, we don't know the height, and that's what we'll use H. So we'll say H is the height of the break. And here's a really crucial part of this problem to understand and to think abstract about the fact that the total length is 10 feet. Uh, and so while we don't know this, and we don't know this side, uh, because we know the total length, we can say that this is 10 minus h. For example, if that was 5 feet, then this would be 10 minus 5 feet. Uh, if this was 6 feet here, this would be 4 feet. 10 minus 6 would be 4. Uh, and so that, you know, understanding that 10 minus h added to h would equal 10, and that would represent the total. So you have to sort of think about, you know, breaking off at a height of h, and then what's left is 10 minus h. Uh, and so that's the first important thing, is to be able to think abstract and, and algebraically that way uh, in order to solve this problem. And the next thing is to realize that you can apply the Pythagorean theorem, because we're, we're talking about a height, and a height has to be perpendicular to, to, to the base. Uh, and so this is a right angle, and this is a right triangle, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and the Pythagorean theorem uh, would, be, would say that the square of the two sides, the sum of the square of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So we'll say 3 squared plus h squared has to equal the quantity 10 minus h, whatever that number is, squared. So here's a, an illustration of using the Pythagorean theorem in ancient Chinese mathematics, possibly as, as early as, as Pythagoras, and possibly even before Pythagoras. Um, so it, it, uh, it wasn't necessarily only Pythagoras that, that uh, thought of this, or it wasn't necessarily only the Greeks. In fact, there were ancient Egyptians and ancient Babylonians that had the idea of the Pythagorean theorem uh, before Pythagoras. Um, Okay, so continuing, the question is now, given this relationship, this equation, I want to solve for the value of h. To solve for h, I'm going to expand. So let's write this as 9 plus h squared equals, now you realize maybe we're going to have to multiply this out, we're going to have to FOIL. This is 10 minus h times 10 minus h, and you can't just square each of these, you have to FOIL. So maybe I'll write this over here. Or how about if I scroll this? There, that's good. So then I have 9 plus h squared. And so in order to multiply this, you're going to say 10 times 10, which is 100. And then 10 times negative h. And then here, negative h times 10. And then negative h times negative h is plus h squared. So that was FOIL. Um, the 
the, the first, the outside, the inside, and the last. That's how you multiply those two binomials. I still want to solve for h, so I'm going to simplify over here, collect like terms. Now we have 9 plus h squared equals 100 minus 20h plus h squared. Those are like terms. And then the really uh, fortunate, lucky thing here is that in this particular uh, problem, every time you're going to have an h squared on both sides of the equation, and that simplifies the equation dramatically. You could say that you could minus h squared from both sides, or you could just say you cancel it from both sides, because if you subtract it from both sides, it's gone. So, um, so I'll just say I'm canceling h squared from both sides. And uh, that gets rid of the quadratic term, and this will be a lot easier to solve than if it had been a quadratic. It's no longer quadratic. This is 100 minus 20h, and all I have to do is get the, the h term by itself, solve for h. So I'll subtract 100 from both sides to get the h term by itself. This will be a negative 91 on that side. And over here, these terms cancel, and we have a negative 20h left. Finally, to get the h by itself, I'll take both sides, divide by negative 20. That isolates the h. Cancel that. Now we need to divide negative 91 divided by negative 20. That's 4.55, positive, of course, because the two negatives cancel. And that's the value of h. So that's the answer. The height is 4.55 feet. That's it.